Hello Scorpios and welcome to your love reading for the month of September 2020. If you are a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this reading is for you. If you are on the cusp of a Libra or a Sagittarius, you may want to watch uh, their videos to see if they also resonate with you, okay? Um, these are very general, so they're not going to resonate with all of you who are watching. Um, if you would like your own personal reading from me, my links are down below in the description box. Okay, so I had already pre-shuffled for you, Scorpio. Um, this month I'm doing a different spread. I'm using uh, mainly all Lenormand. Um, so I kind of focused on this side being you and this side being your person, or if you are single, this is uh, you and this is somebody you might meet. Um, all right, but take how it resonates because sometimes, you know, you might find this is your side and this is their side. So uh, whatever uh, you feel is your story, okay? So I'm going to start with this side. So on your end, um, you got the challenging times card, okay? Um, I tend to see this card as, uh, it's, a, it's a card of conflicts and competition um, and feeling as though you are caught in a power struggle of some sort or that you feel disruptions in a relationship, all right? So uh, definitely shows a bit of a challenge going on here for you, or maybe this is how you feel, or you feel, you know, if you are with this person, this is what you feel that you've been dealing with with this person, okay? Um, I'll talk about their side in a minute. So you have the birds and the time card. In this Lenormand deck right here, um, he adds extra cards. So there is a couple that are not your normal 36 cards. So these are add-ons, but you do have the, the birds and the time card, okay? So the birds can be a, uh, it's normally a card of like worrying and stress and uh, fluctuations up and down. Sometimes it can mean soulmates, um, depending on the cards next to it. But generally it's a card of stressing out, a chaos. Um, and then you have the time card. So with these two, I feel that you or whoever this is, this side, this person is worried about time running out Okay. Again, the birds is about stress and worries, but this card, I tend to see this card also as a wait and see type of approach. So maybe that's what it is. It could be like that, um, what is it called when people use, I can't think of things all the time. <laughs> um, the sand, the, the um, what do you call it? Uh, these are the days of our lives. Remember, I used to, <laughs> my mom used to watch that show all the time. <laughs> Where the sand goes, oh, I can't, I can't think of the name. This always happens when I'm doing readings. Anyway, so this shows me in general, the time in the birds is that someone feels time is running out or maybe there's frustrations with patients, like worries about how much time is this going to need, worried about how much time is this going to be taken until let's say if you're not talking to this person, you're kind of stressing out at the moment. Um, so we have the fox and the child. Okay, so the fox is suspicion, sometimes trickery, sometimes manipulation like the snake card. Someone who you thought was isn't, right? Um, but it can also mean taking charge of yourself, okay? Um, but when you have the child, sometimes this is weakness. It is a new beginning, but it could be a sign of weak. Like, you know, think of a child, they're weaker than an adult naturally, right? When they're still little and young, still growing. So it's like, showing a weak sense of self or that you don't trust this other person because the child can be a new beginning like wanting to start a new beginning with this person but there's this trust issue like i don't know if i should trust starting over with this person i, I feel like you're not with this person and you may be but whether you're on and off again with this person or you're not talking there's that iffy about i don't know if i should start over with them or not or maybe this is you feeling like they don't want to start over with you. Maybe you do want this, but that you're worried they don't because again, this is how much time is needed, right? How much, how long is this going to take? That's the energy I get with these two right away. So if you're single, I feel this could be showing you are trying to be overly cautious about getting into a new relationship overall. Okay. So maybe that's what's going on here for some of you that are single. Okay. Um, the tower and cross, I, well, I, I do want to mention this. Okay. This is not going to be for all of you, but sometimes this is that time is ticking, right? So some of you could be uh, like women. Maybe you're thinking I'm at an age where not saying that's exactly what it's saying, but I do pick up another storyline here. 
I'm at an age where some of you might even be in your 30s and you're freaking the hell out. You know how that, you know how a lot of girls in their 20s or in their late or the teenage years go, I want to be married by the time I'm 25 or I want to have a baby and be married and everything by the time I'm 20 something or, or even 30 something, right? Because these days it's, you don't have to get married so young. You don't have to, right? There's no rush, you know? So it's like this, there could be a time ticking, like I'm getting older, am I going to be able to get pregnant or, you know, I'm at the age where I better find someone before I get too old. I'm just saying this is what you might be fearing. I'm not saying you're too old, but in your mind, you might be thinking, um, I'm getting older. I don't want to have to find someone when I'm suddenly 60 or 70. Not that that's bad, but you know, you want to find someone while you're still youthful and have the energy and, you know stuff like that. So I do pick up that as well. If you are single and older, you might be fearing, you know, what if I don't find someone, you know, there's that I'm not young. I'm worried about not being young. I'm worried about losing my youth. You know, will people uh, trust who I am? Time's running out for myself. You know, the, and I say that because the, um, the fox is also a self, you know, the self. So Let's look at the tower and the cross. So the tower can be that distancing yourself because this person is hard to deal with, or this is how you feel towards this other person. Because the tower is often about loneliness or putting up with walls, putting up walls of defense, right? Someone that's very defensive um, in relationships it is. And you have it next to the cross, which the cross is already a card of sometimes emotional suffering or being very stressed and burdened. So, you know, it's also hardships, all right? So I feel as if you, this is sort of telling me you can't deal with this person right now, like there's too much going on. Maybe that's what it is. This person may want some of you to, to make a decision. Okay, new storyline here. Um, I'll get to this, I haven't talked about this side yet, but I'm already getting that because of this as well, <laughs> which I'll get to that. In, later on but I feel like either this person's pressuring you to make a decision and you're freaking out or you feel there's not a lot enough time or some kind of uh, you know waiting on this person here so but in general um, the cross and tower can be that this person has rejected you or caused you pain because they rejected you in some way or maybe you had to reject them um, again, if you're single, you might be fearing getting hurt again. So you're kind of keeping yourself isolated. But at the same time, like what I was saying, even if it's not an age thing, you're just like, when is the right time to meet someone, right? So if it's not a desperate or worried thinking about your age or you're not married yet and you, let's say you're 33 and I'm not married yet, you start freaking out. It could be any of those meanings here. But there's a lot of worries about being separated or emotional pain and having trust issues, basically all on this side. So let's go look at this side. My camera's up much higher than it normally is. It's usually like right here. <laughs> it's like, wait, because I have more cards. So I want to get the camera to fit it all in. So I'm kind of like looking up here. So <laughs> I'm like, wait down here, okay. Um, they have the card rebuild, okay, on their end, which, you know, in, in this deck, um, he actually refers to this as the, the um, like a, um, he uses this one as like the, the um, oh God, I can't talk today. Sorry. The tower card. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got this in someone else's reading. Was it, was it Virgos or, or someone I did last month? But anyway, they got the card rebuild. So, you know, that tells me that they caused some sort of collapse in this connection or they feel like they need to rebuild, right? Because, because, you know, the rebuild card is not necessarily negative just because it's kind of the, um, you know, it's kind of, a, you know, he's using it as like the tower card, making it sound nicer, needing to, but that's what it is. Since what was broken is capable of being put back together, okay? So your person may be wanting to rebuild what has been lost between you if you are dealing with someone or trying to work on themselves, okay? So we have the house on there and the well. So the house and the well. And mind you, they have two houses. So there's definitely something to do with family. The house in general is a card of family. Um, it's, it's about the home, safety, security, and also privacy. And rules, regulations being very conservative. And the well is a card of wishes and healing, um, but also reflection. Uh, God, see, I can't. Sorry. I can talk today. 
but it's also a card of um, what was I going to say? Reflection, right? Think of looking down in water, right? You see yourself. So it, they, they, we tend to see this card as uh, wish fulfillment, but at the same time, it's also reflection. Okay. Um, the well is also about looking deeper into an issue. So I feel like this person on this side, maybe this is you, but regardless, this side, this person is, I see them hoping for things to improve between um, you guys, but again, I'm seeing another storyline. So for some of you, they do want to rebuild on what has happened because you're obviously hurt here or whoever this is. This person's really hurt. They want to rebuild, but Another storyline I'm getting from this side is working on a family. So for some, this person is married. Or you are the one that's married. You know, you may not be married, like legally. So let's say you're not married, but you're taken. They see you as, okay, they want to work on their marriage. So that leaves me going out, but I want to rebuild this. I don't want to let this person go. But this one's like, I don't want to let this person go, but I, I, I don't want to feel comfortable. I don't trust if I should leave my, you know, that could be another storyline here. Um, but somewhat, like I said, someone may not be married. Okay. Um, or maybe this person is just dealing a, with a lot in their private life in general. So whether or not they're taken. Okay. Um, on their side, they have, you know, again, the house card twice, which shows family traditions or someone who is sort of set in their ways, like really set in their ways. Um, or that they might have been keeping something very private. I feel like this person is trying to either keep something inside or they're, or were keeping you under the radar for some reason. And again, I'm not sure if there's a third party situation because that would make sense. Although to be fair, I'm not getting secretive cards here. Although I did mention the house can sometimes mean something that's private. But I don't get anything secretive. Like, I don't have the book anywhere. I don't have the clouds anywhere. But again, you don't need those two cards just to determine a secret, you know, in actuality. But there are, so because there's many meanings that two cards combined or three cards combined can actually very well say a secret. But it's, it's like on your side, basically. I see a lot of stress. I see a lot of worries. Time running out. Isolation. Putting up walls of defense. And on this side, I get a lot of family issues, privacy, wishing for something not to come out in the open. And I'm saying that because of these two cards here. We have the garden and the house. So, and the moon about the house right here on their end, or maybe this is you again, but I don't know. But the moon being about the house shows something fearful going on behind closed doors or fearing the marriage or family. And the sun card could be pretending that everything is peachy in the family. Like, okay, well, this is generally, I would see these two as, because we mirror them, wishing that everything is okay, wishing for happiness. Um, but then it being above the garden, this is like pretending or representation of, hey, everything's fine. So let's say this person wasn't married. Let's say none of you are married, because that's only a storyline for some of you. So maybe uh, there's no one else involved here, because I really don't see third party though, but you know, you know, whatever's going on, this person's pretending that they're okay without you, but maybe they're just trying to, maybe this person has rejected this person and now this person feels like, okay, I've got to go rebuild. I've got to go work on myself. They're kind of forced to, um, here, okay, I pick up something else. So back to what I was saying about marriage, you might've not known this person was married and you found out and you're sad about having to distance yourself from them, but maybe they told you they were separated or maybe they told you they were married, but you know, Hey, we're getting divorced. We're in separation. Yada, yada, yada. So you're like, when is this going to end the time ticking? Right. And then they're like, kind of, um, for, and you're like, no, you work on your marriage because now I know you're married. So I'm going to go ahead and distance myself put up walls of defense and then they're like forced to rebuild their marriage but they're not really happy because they're just pretending to be yeah I get many different things so but again that's not the storyline for all of you <laughs> okay I'm just getting different things so okay for those of you that are married yourself okay I'm sensing that if, if this is you and you are married this is your partner okay so I'm sensing there's a little bit of artificial happiness here. So perhaps someone isn't really happy in their marriage. This is just for the month of September. Okay. This is not, but it's not that bad. I'm just going to say, if this is you and your partner, I'm not seeing a divorce. And if you are dealing with someone that's married, 
um, or you're married and they're not, whatever. If you're not talking, I don't see an ending either. Just saying. There is some someone, I would say this, if there is a, you haven't talked in a while, there was some separation, you're like, okay, I'm gonna keep, you know, th there's some self-defense and, and not maybe not talking, but that's it, it ain't, it ain't over. I'll just say that, it's not over. It's not over when you say it's over. <laughs> or someone might say that, I don't know. <laughs> like the Notebook movie. <laughs> it's not really over, it wasn't, you know. Um, but if you are married in all seriousness, um, maybe the other person feels hurt and resentful, okay? Under, you know, and this person is trying to fix something that they might have caused a collapse with, right? They want to, re or maybe this person just can't get over something, but the other person in the marriage really does want to fix this. But in the meantime, they want to act like it's not that bad as you thought it was, but this person's like, no, it is. I don't trust what's going on here. Let's see what's under the deck. That was a lot of energy. Sorry, I get all crazy sometimes. So we have the crossroads, right? A picture of a stairway instead of the roads in the normal Lenormand deck. And we have the clover and the birds again. So we have the birds on this per person's end already. So stress and worries, new opportunities, decision making. I hope I'm in the, okay, am I in the, okay, my hand. I just make sure, cause I'm way down here. My camera's like, well, my tripod's way up high. Not too high, but it's higher than it usually is. So, um, okay, so under the deck. So there's a decision to be made. And with the birds and clover along with the crossroads, this is hesitation about a choice or hesitation about an opportunity because someone is worried about making the wrong decision or that there's constant worries over whatever decision is made. Then, you know, these two is like avoiding the decision. So it's, it still says the same thing. Although the clover is not bad. Um, the clover is usually good luck. So, or something's not as bad as they think it is. That could be, like I said, someone right here might be over worrying or overthinking, right? So it's like someone is worried about making the wrong decision or there's, you know, there's, it's like constant worries over whatever decision is made. These also can mean, all three of these, a lack of focus. So I feel, I feel someone is losing patience. Again, losing patience on this end. Whether you're with this person, whether you're single, it's like losing patience about finding the right person, et cetera, et cetera. Because the person on the right is taking too long to decide what they want or what it is that they're going to do maybe. And if you're single, um, I feel if you're single, you might meet someone. I mean, you could be single and talking to someone, but if you are single, you could be dealing or meeting someone who kind of frustrates the hell out of you. Or this person might be keeping things inside. They're just not wanting to open up. And it's not that they're hiding something. You're just, this, see, for some of you, you could be taking, or this, whoever this is, this one is taking things the wrong way just because this person is, they're not ready to open up completely. They could be the shy type. You kind of, people got to be careful because sometimes if we assume negative things, they show up in our reality, right? So it's like, oh no, they haven't called me in a couple hours. That means, oh my God, he must be cheating. He must be into someone else. If you keep visualizing that over and over and over again, that's going to eventually show up in your reality. And then that person will be interested in someone else, you know? Uh, that's partly why it's not your fault it's just but we don't people don't realize they unintentionally manifest things to happen as well so that could be another issue here is this, we see this person kind of oh my life has just gone miserably not that it, it might have you know that's sad i'm just saying that this could be just um playing the victim card again this may be the other person and this might be you but i feel like someone might uh, in some cases like i was saying another storyline here could be that no one did anything wrong but someone's taking um things to personally just because this person it just has a lot of they're very introverted they're not really it's like this would be the extrovert this would be the introvert you know but um, I don't see an ending though regardless I'm not seeing ending. I'm just seeing uh, someone having to make a decision and it most likely it could be this person um, or maybe that's this person because there's so much um, I'm not sure what to do I'm not sure how to trust I'm feeling very hurt time is running out time is ticking so I'm not sure what to label this video. Maybe I should label it that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Scorpio. I'm not sure. What about, what do you think? <laughs> Anything goes. It's whatever you want. No, I'm kidding. Well, anyway, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Uh, I hope that helped resonate. Sorry if it didn't. But um, again, if you would like your own personal reading, all my links are down below. I 
will see you guys on my next video.